What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got a tour of what I would call a dream living room setup in a relatively compact one bedroom apartment space. So this living room definitely follows a modern theme, but has all the essentials when it comes down to multimedia to enjoy TV, movies, or games. And the furniture all kind of goes together in being functional, giving you space to have storage as well as places to sit. It's nice and comfortable. But I think the best part of all is that this setup altogether costs less than you might think. A huge part of that being the centerpiece of this entire space, and that is a 65 inch 4K ULED Android TV from Hisense. That comes in at a price point that I believe is such a good value in both its visual quality as well as features. And I would like to give them a huge thanks for partnering with me for this video. If you guys want to see some more videos of some modern tech living spaces and great setups, just make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video and I'll definitely try to do some more. So I think the biggest things that I would prioritize in any setup is the way it looks and the way it functions. In this case, there's one big flat wall that has enough space to have a 65 inch TV, so I thought, why not? I tend to really like to sit close to the TV, so a 65 didn't really seem to be a problem because of the amount of space, but you might wanna go with something like a 55 or 50 if that's what you're used to. Some of the consoles here include the Wii U as well as a PS4 Slim and an Xbox One. My personal favorite is the PS4 and one that I use at home and also take on the road, so I had to play a game of NHL on this setup. Perhaps one of the most important things other than the TV though is your media cabinet, and this one right here is from Wayfair and it is almost perfect. It is made by Eburn Designs and in this case it almost matched the floor perfectly giving it a very close tone, but in terms of the way it's kind of laid out, I think it's very functional as well. Not only do you have enough space for a 65 inch TV to fit comfortably, but at the same time you have three different drawers on the front as well as three different slots on the bottom for your game consoles or media station. This gives you proper airflow, but on the top you can store stuff like your games, your controllers, and what I really like about this is that the stand is actually very good in its quality. I got it on sale for around $200, and for that price, based on a lot of the other furniture that I've tried out, I believe this one was one of the best quality that I've seen to date. It just really could not be more perfect for a setup like this based on the flooring and kind of the feel that I was going for. The couch in the space is an Article Nova, and this is a couch that comes in multiple different colors, but the one I have here is in gravel, and it is just kind of a light gray finish. It is a sectional, so you can pick which side you would like the piece in, but it is nice and wide and kind of goes along with the large size of the TV. It's overall very minimalist and simple feel, but if you want to spice it up, then add a throw pillow or a colored blanket, and that should do the job. In front of it is an Ikea Nibota coffee table, and this is one that is relatively small, so it doesn't take up too much space, but gives you a place to put your controllers, your drinks, or some food. It also has a slot on the bottom that gives you space to put some magazines and stuff, just to keep it nice and tidy, but I just like the fact that this is very simple and can go essentially in any space. It's also like a perfect height to go with the article Nova couch, for example, so it doesn't get in the way at all. The rug itself is one that I picked up on Home Outfitters and it is a very common pattern that I've been seeing but just make sure you get one that doesn't shed. I'm going to leave a link to some of the alternatives down in the description section below along with all the products mentioned in this video. Another way to really bring a living space to life is with some greenery, so whether it's some plants and just some stuff that goes around that is alive. It's definitely a piece of decor that takes a little bit more maintenance but can make a massive difference. A lot of times with rather compact spaces is that there isn't really any places to put a dining table if you want to go with a large living room setup. So a little bar stool and table setup like this is great to fill in that space between the edge of the TV stand as well as the wall. You're also close to a lot of natural light that is pouring in through the windows and it gives you a good space to work and eat. So behind me is kind of the centerpiece for the entire setup and that is the Hisense H8F 65 inch 4K ULED TV. So Hisense has actually been making TVs for quite a while. This is their 50th anniversary and I've checked out some of their other TVs in the past and really enjoyed them and they've really been expanding their growth in North America over the past few years. So a lot of times for TV buyers, there's a few different things to look at. Whether you're looking for a value TV that is a good price but a big upgrade from what you had before or there's also people who spend tens of thousands on their TV and I've seen those before and although they were very nice, I didn't really see the value in that because it really does come down to the media that you're going to be playing on it. I feel like the Hisense H8F line is a great way to kind of upgrade your entire setup for the long time coming. It has 4K, it is very future ready, and at the same time it comes in at a price point that I feel is very, very reasonable and competitive for its price. The 50 inch model in the US is 399 with the 55 inch at 499 and the 65 at 699 and in the US you can get it from Best Buy, Amazon, and Brandsmart. If you're in Canada, you can get this TV at Costco, Bro and Marno, as well as Visions. So like I said, this TV for 2019 has Hisense's ULED technology which is great at boosting brightness, color, and contrast. It's got full ray backlight dimming, and especially at its size, that is very important in distinguishing the different colors, the blacks, and I do find that the contrast ratio is pretty good, especially if you go ahead and customize the modes. There's a total of 60 zones of local dimming on the 65-inch model behind me. 
This thing also has a very wide color gamut with over 90% DCI P3 coverage giving you over a billion colors and it also has motion rate 240. When it comes to actually looking at the visual quality of the TV, I was pretty impressed, especially at its competitive price. For such a large TV, I was impressed by the contrast and consistency. The colors were nice and vibrant, but like I said, you can adjust the modes to your custom settings. And that is also thanks to the HDR10 support as well as Dolby Vision. I do watch some Netflix and because I do record in 4K, obviously video quality on a TV is very important to me, but I also watch a ton of sports as well, which means the refresh rate has to be good enough and 240 is great for both watching sports and gaming. I use this TV to play my favorite game NHL obviously, which I play a little bit too much of. And for games like that where the puck is traveling around and I have played it at hotels and stuff, you can definitely tell if the TV's refresh rate is just not enough to give you the best experience, especially at this size. I think beyond just a good TV though is a software experience and this one has Android TV built in and is powered by Hisense's very own chip. So a lot of times you might notice that TVs go with proprietary software and some people might like it but others might not. But with Android TV it is kind of a universal experience that I'm sure a lot of people really enjoy just because it's kind of an all-in-one and doesn't require you to go ahead and purchase a separate box. On Android TV you have access to the Google App Store and you also have access to Google Play Music and TV movies and that gives you a library of over 500,000 shows. You can also access Hulu Plus or Chromecast from streaming from your phone to make things very easy whether you have an iOS or Android. But another thing beyond all of the apps and stuff is that you can also use Google Assistant to tell it what show to play or what to switch to on YouTube and even play a song, tell you the weather, and just general information that is built in with Google Assistant. The AI powered algorithm allows you to intelligently pick different TV shows and movies based on suggestions of what you've done in the past. I think with the visuals being the most important feature of any TV, this one does a very good job and if you're watching like Game of Thrones where it's very dark, the HDR10 is going to help out a lot. And you've got full 4K resolution which is going to be future proof for many years to come. And overall the motion and everything at this price point is what I would expect on any great TV. I also really like that the bezels are nice and thin. The TV itself is also pretty thin so it can mount flush to a wall very nicely and the stands itself just look pretty good and give you a nice clean setup. I know a lot of TV companies now are switching stands every year and going with setups that just might not be as versatile but this one right here is kind of a safe setup and I think it looks amazing in the way that it is set up behind me. You've also got two 15 watt speakers as well as four HDMI ports found on the back. So whether you're into gaming, sports, or watching some movies, then the HDF line is a very good option for a large TV at a very good price. If you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna drop a link to everything down below. So at the end of the day, this setup is one that I feel like has all the essentials that you might want. You've got a large 65 inch TV that has 4K, has HDR, and looks amazing with nice thin bezels and a good stand. A beautiful TV stand that is nice and modern, has all the compartments that you need, but also space for your consoles in the bottom. A couch that is large but nice and simple, as well as a rug that feels very comfortable and soft. And of course, a coffee table that just seems to fit perfectly in terms of the size alongside the couch. The light and dark contrast really adds to the modern look and the table on the side just really helps bring together the entire space. From a tech standpoint beyond the TV, you have all of your consoles as well as access to media on both the consoles and the TV itself with Android. And it just seems to be the perfect type of space for all forms of entertainment and just a lot of fun. A lot of these items can be picked up for much cheaper than you might think, so I'm going to drop a link to many budget alternatives down below, but in terms of items that kind of vary depending on what you would like, the couch is definitely one of them. The rug can definitely vary in prices as well, but the TV itself is one that is very reasonably priced for what it is and can last you for many, many years to come. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you